Yeah, my name is Keith Erickson. Um, I live full-time over here on Galliano. Uh, I have a family. I've been here for about 20 years. I am a professional biologist by uh, trade and uh, I have worked with a group called the Galliano Conservancy Association for the uh, past 20 years, uh, just up until January where I've recently left. I'm a member of a fantastic group called Shrek or the Salish Sea uh, Renewable Energy Co-op. It was a group that was started by a, a cohort of people on Galliano Island who's concerned about uh, securing our uh, energy future here and about the uh, destructive practices that are going on in, in terms of how we produce our power, um, looking to uh, move towards a more sustainable future. Um, all of these things I firmly believe in and so um, sort of got involved and got an awareness of this of the organization Shrek um, early on and uh, one of their first uh, sort of items on the agenda um, was to secure a bulk buy of, of solar panels and, and uh, equipment to help reduce the cost of the installation of, of those types of systems on the island here and locally actually not just Galliano Island but uh, uh, throughout the Gulf Islands and um, so we joined up and, and we became part of that bulk buy and it became very clear that um, um, there was going to be a lot of installations going on on the island and um, uh, we there was some contact with uh, with Viridian um, early on in that process and I think there was some bids and things that that occurred or went out to tender and Viridian came through in, in terms of uh, being a good uh, a good match um, and uh, and so the the whole co-op went with Viridian and um, it proved to be a fantastic move. The, the people who are involved in, the, in that co-op are absolutely first class and absolutely top rate. Uh, I had to had the pleasure of, of uh, dealing with Viridian um, on both a personal level in my house here um, where we had an installation as part of the bulk buy and then also um, as the director of the Galliano Conservancy who uh, was also participating in that bulk buy and installation for our a net zero system, grid tied system that um, is installed at the Millard Learning Center where uh, um, the Galliano Conservancy now operates its office and its uh, educational programming from. Uh, first of all, I wouldn't hesitate, um, it wouldn't take a second to hesitate to recommend Viridian um, and their services in terms of solar. Their expertise is, is uh, top-notch and their, uh, their um, you know, customer service and, and, and they're just good people. I would also say that if you are interested in, in installing a solar energy system in your home, um, that speaking to Shrek, if you're certainly if you're in the Salish Sea area, um, it would be a good idea. And and trying to organize some kind of um, bulk purchase of equipment is uh, a, a really excellent way to reduce the cost and improve or increase the amount of solar energy we can be producing in this region. Um, yeah, it was quite affordable for us to do it on at a home level and as an at an organizational level, the same thing uh, with the Galliano Conservancy. Um, uh, you know the cost savings involved with uh, coming together with a uh, with like-minded people and and um, trying to do things on a, on a larger scale uh, makes a lot of sense and so that would be my biggest recommendation also the other thing that attracted me to Galliano Island was uh, the community itself there's a, a tremendous amount of uh, community participation in our gen in our daily lives, um, volunteer organizations and nonprofit groups, and it really does um, highlight the amount of work it takes for um, to you don't to make things work on a, in a small island situation um, when you have. Um, a small population we have to come together we have to work together we have to make things happen ourselves and I think the the uh, the, the formation of Shrek and the huge uptake of of, uh, of producing our own energy through through solar it's a good example of how a strong community can work together to achieve 
um, something that's uh, going to be important for our our well-being in the future. Um, we're attached to the grid, so to speak, very precariously. You know, we have huge long power outages in the winter time. Um, energy security is something that's in, in the forefront of most of our uh, minds as a result. And so I think there's an appreciation for um, taking some of that into our own hands and being able to provide for ourselves to a certain respect.